Google seems to have learned its lesson about technology that its users might actually like to wear. After the stream of jokes and criticism about Google Glass, the bulky Borg-like computer for your face, it has gone back to its roots as a web and internet company that makes software. When it rolled out Google Wear recently, there was legitimate excitement because Google seems to have recognized that in order to make something people might actually want on their wrist, you have to give something that looks aesthetically pleasing. Until recently, this is the kind of thing that a smartwatch looked like. It's bulky, it's square, it's a little mini tablet for your wrist. It doesn't look like a lifestyle aid, it's technology. The Google Wear software has a version that will work for round screens, and it also includes a very heavily context-aware, internet-connected version of Google Now, which will help you know where you are and what's coming next in your life. Reply, be there in two. But there are three big stumbling points that any smartwatch is going to have to deal with in order to be acceptable to the consumer market. The first is battery life. If a Google smartwatch lasts anything less than 24 hours on a single charge, then people are not going to be very interested in having it around. The second big problem is pairing. None of the devices that Google has showed off can connect to the internet unless they're nearby a phone or some other wirelessly connected device that beams the internet to it, which limits its ability and its ranges and functions. The final drawback of Google's version of a wearable future is that we're all still just cows on their data farm. What I mean by that is that when they say context aware, what they mean is we're constantly tracking you. So long as you're not bothered by that bargain, then it looks like Google may have a winner here. <laughs>